Hey guys, what's going on? Perks Pier, and in this video, I have some more Call of Black Ops 3 beta gameplay for you guys. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about what I think are the two most overpowered things in Black Ops 2 so far. And I know it is only of a beta, and I'm glad that Treyarch did provide a beta for the game because hopefully these things will be fixed by release so that the game will be as good as possible and there won't be too many overpowered things. But anyway, what are those overpowered things? Well, number one, gr gr grenades in general, some taxes, frags, like it seems like for every Call of Duty for the first either few weeks or first couple days for the launch of the game, that grenades are really overpowered. I remember for Advanced Warfare, grenades are still kind of overpowered and uh, they were just always overpowered and so were stuns until they, they got nerfed. And speaking of stuns, stuns are a little uh, overpowered too. Like. If I get stunned, like, I can't move for a good five to seven seconds when it should really be more like two or three. So, I, like, I know that there's flat jacket and tax, tax mask, but the, those shouldn't be, like, absolutely necessary to be able to avoid getting killed by a frag grenade or semtax or any sort of a explosive. And then also for those stuns, task max should not be necessary either because I feel like you know like I said I can't move for a good seven seconds and then most likely they'll kill me but by the time I'm free from the stun so it's just like that's the only thing I see bad about the Black Ops 3 beta so far that stuff does need to get nerfed and I hope that it does get nerfed by the time the game does come out in November but uh, otherwise than that there's nothing that I see too overpowered in the beta the only other things maybe are that the uh, the s specialist sparrow bow like that seems like like I don't know about you guys but I can't use the sparrow bow at all like it takes a while to like charge up and be able to uh, shoot and then also the longer you hold it the far farther it'll go obviously but like that just takes too long and like I most of the time get killed in the animation of trying to shoot it at somebody so it's not th the best thing in the world but yeah I do hope that said stuff does get fixed by the release because that'll make the overall game experience better and make everybody happy in general but I do give kudos to Treyarch for having a beta and letting the community really fix the game before release. And speaking of feedback, Cherik has been making feedback videos and they are listening, so I'm glad that they are doing that. And one more thing about the beta, I know that yesterday there were a lot of connection issues for a lot of people. Cherik said that they have fixed it, so connection issues should be better. I had that problem too. My nat type for a lot of the other time was moderate or strict, so that was really a, a pain and, and it was hard to find lobbies and I couldn't really join games to get gameplay for you guys and whatever else, but as the day went on, they finally fixed it and my nat type is now open now, so they, so your lobby should be easier to find for whatever game you want to play, TDM, DOM, just whatever. But yeah guys, um, so that's my overall thoughts of the beta so far besides the grenades and stuns that need to be nerfed I think that the betas are, are all so good the the gun bounce is good no gun is really too overpowered as long as you know how to use it and the time to kill is pretty decent as well like you could turn on people and still have a chance to win the gunfight but yeah guys I'm Seth going to be for the video if you enjoyed please smack the like button subscribe if you're new help us get to 1k if, if we could hit that soon that that'd be awesome more more black ops 3 news and gameplays on the way guys take care take care guys and peace out Four, three, two, three, two, three, two, three.